Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this session, we will learn the different ways in which color object can be created. So without wasting time, let's get started. Color plays the great role for enhancing user interface. Flutter has given two different classes in order to construct the color. First one is the color class and another one is called the colors class. Basically, if we want to create a custom color or say desired color, we need to use this specific class. And if you want to get some predefined set of colors, then in this case, we can use this specific class called colors. Now, first of all, let me explain how we can use the predefined colors from this class called colors. You can see we have a simple Flutter application code written here. Inside the center widget, we have a property called child. And as a child, I'm passing the object of container here. Now, inside this container, let me use the height. So I will specify height as 200 pixel. Let me use the width. So again, I will use width in the form of 200 here. And now here we have to specify the color. Now, in this case, I will use the color from this predefined colors constant. So I can write here colors dot red. Let's save the code. Now you can see this specific container will appear with the red color. Now let me talk more about this colors class. Basically, this color class has predefined static constants of color object that represents standard color. It means the class that we have here that is called color class. This specific color class has the constants created. We can say these are the standard colors which are actually available inside this color class. We mostly use this specific way of using the color only when we want to use standard colors. We can also apply the shade for color. For example, after this rate, we can use the option called shade. So here we have various shades. Let's say shade of 100, 200, 300, 400 and so on. So in this case, I will use the say shade of 300. Let's save it and you can see the container will appear with the red color having the shade of 300. So more the shade, darker the color will be. Moreover, we can also pass the shade in square bracket also. For example, after this rate, we can write a square bracket and inside this, let me apply the shade to 100 here. Save the code and you can see the red box now is having the shade of 100. When we want to use our own color, so here we want to use the object of color here. So this color class has given so many constructors. So out of this, let me explain the simple constructor to use here. So in this color constructor, we want to specify eight digit hexadecimal value. So let me write the value. For example, we have to write here zero X. This zero X indicates its hexadecimal value. So first two digits represents the opacity. Next two digits represents the value of red color. So let me write here value of red color as zero. Then the next two colors are reserved for the value of green. Let me write here FF. It means I want a full green color. And the last two values are reserved for the blue colors. So here I will pass again zero. Now it means we have created the color called green here. So this indicates the color red is absent here, color blue is absent. Only the value of green is there and it has the full opacity. It means this color has completely opaque. When I save it, we can see my container appears in the green color. Now, if you want this container with say blue color, now just make this as a zero zero so that it will have the value of green is zero. And now let me use FF that is completely blue. So when I save it, we can see the box appears in complete blue color. Moreover, if you want to decrease the opacity, so we can decrease this value. So instead of using this complete opacity, we can change it to some different value. Let's say I'm passing your value 50. Now let me create some random colors. For this, I will use the opacity as FF that is completely opaque. Then the value for 50, let's say value for 50 is AB. Then the value for green, let's say 50. And value for blue, I will specify this one as say 9C. So when I save it, I will get some random color. Let me comment this line and now I will explain the another constructor. So let me use color option here. Now this color class has got a constructor. This is basically known as from RGBO. Then in this case, this R indicates the red color, G for green, B for blue, and this O indicates the opacity. So the value for this red, green, and blue must be specified in the range of 0 to 255. So let me write here 255. Then the value of opacity must be between the range of 0, 0.0 to 1.0. So 0, 0.0 indicates it's completely transparent and 1.0 indicates it's completely opaque color. Now let me create a red color here. So I can write 255, then the value for green is say zero, value for blue is zero, and I want this completely opaque color. So I can write here 1.0. 
When I save it, you can see box now appears in the complete red color. Now, if I use some combination, let's say if I write 100 value for blue and let's say value for red is 200. So it's a combination of blue along with some red color. Now, instead of using this opacity 1.0, I can change it to say 0.5, which means it's 50% transparent. Now, let me explain one more constructor here. So in this case, again, I need to comment out this one. So I will use the third constructor here. Let me use the property color. And for this, I'm passing the object of color in this form, let's say from ARGB. Here, A indicates alpha. Alpha controls the opacity. So the value of alpha must range from 0 to 255. 0 means it's completely transparent and 255 means it's completely opaque. Now here again we have to specify the colors for red, green and blue. In this case also the values of this red, green and blue lies between the range of 0 to 255. So let me create some color here. So here I will specify the value of alpha is 255. Then let's say the value of color are called red is 0. Let me use the value of green is 255 and value of blue is 0. When I save, you can see the box appears in the green color. Moreover, it is possible to apply the value of this red, green, blue as well as this alpha here in the form of hexadecimal value. It means instead of using 255, I can specify value like 0, then x and let's say ff. When I save it, we can see the same effect on the screen. Color class has the method with opacity and with alpha using which we can also control the opacity of color. For example, let me commit out this one. And here again, I will use color. Let me use some predefined color here. So I can write colors dot red here. Now after using this red color, we can specify the opacity. Let's say I can write with opacity and the value for opacity must lie between 0.0 to 1.0. So let me pass here value 0.5. When I save it, you can see the red box appears with the opacity of 50%. And now instead of using this opacity, we have got the method called with alpha. Now for this alpha, the value of alpha must lie between 0 to 255. 0 means it's completely transparent and 255 means it's completely opaque. So in this case, if I pass the value, let's say 255, you can see it is a red box with completely opacity. And if I change it to, let's say 120, now in this case, this red box appears with the transparency. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really like the way I'm explaining the concept, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.